A lot of beekeeping, I've tried to teach myself, and there's pros, there's cons, things I've done that were good, things I've done that were bad. Uh, a lot of the things I've tried to do is when I've seen online uh, what other beekeepers are doing, and um, and sometimes that works really well for me. Sometimes it doesn't. It may be that they're just in a different place than I am, and that's what made the difference. But I'm in North Carolina, um, and kind of in the Piedmont, and what I've done this year different coming out of the spring. I had uh, this one little eight, these eight frames. Uh, I had them in, it was just two boxes high. Uh, and now if you'll notice, I'm four boxes high. It started going pretty quick, um, but they swarmed on me. And now I've put my swarm over here in the horizontal hive, which is a, a toy just to see how it works and how I can keep them going and how I can grow them and what I can do. So I ended up getting that. And then what I changed different was I changed my entrance. So if you'll notice right here in this hive, I've got a little entrance reducer and I've always ran an entrance reducer. Just, I thought, well, you know, it'll help them keep out the hive beetles and moths and everything. They can guard the door a lot easier and it keeps them out. But I don't know, this year I decided I'm just gonna kind of open it up a little bit. Um, and I made my own entrance reducers that were wider. They were about seven inch wide holes, about a half inch high. Uh, they're easier and, you know, I thought, oh, it's easier in the winter time. I can kind of put a screen over it, three eighths inch wire with a little piece and I can reduce it down and help them stay warm. And that part's worked well, just they're not coming and going. So it's not that bad, but I changed. And then my swarm here, I've got this one, as you can see, that's about a seven inch wide opening and they're coming and going, but the board's a little busy. Well, I caught another swarm locally and I put it in this little box and I said, I'm not going to, these are 10 frame. And I said, I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna put an entrance reducer on it, man. I'm just gonna let it go. And I started with the two boxes. Well, they drew that out really fast. Then I had to add another box like two weeks later. And then a week after that, I'm in four boxes. And man, they're drawing it out. Now the green box was nothing but wax. That was it, it was just wax. And today I stacked another one on top of that one because in a week's time they've drawn the green one out. So now I'm rolling pretty good. Well, this box right here, I just opened the entrance on it because if you can see, I, there's a lot of bees coming and going. I opened the entrance on it and I've got to change the bottom because if you can see right there, the back of it's starting to come apart and any little hole they find to get out, they use. But I came out of the winter with three boxes up to the red box there. And they started drawing it out. Once once they filled all that out and they'd drawn to the top and they were starting to get full, I added the green box. That was the same time that I added the um, green, the blue box next to it. And then all of a sudden, I had to add another box, the white box, about two weeks later. And now, a week, uh, say a week, week and a half, I just again today, added the cedar box on top. They're just packing out. And the only thing I can account that for that's no that's different than I've done in the last several years is no entrance reducer. I think so far this year, they have just been coming and going. Now our poplars are blooming here. So I'm starting to get blooms on the poplars. Everything's blooming. Uh, and coming in so we're about where we're at now is our tree pollen is really high so everything's going good so one thing maybe you can try if if your hives are not building out very fast open the entrances all the way you can always close them down if you don't like it you can always in the winter you know come september october i'm probably going to put an entrance reducer on it anyways i'm not worried about them doing anything and obviously my honey supers will be gone because I won't have all of them on top of it because I won't need it but 
that's just a change that I've made from last year's coming into spring to this year's coming into the spring and it's it's been booming like I, I can't complain about how fast they're building drawing wax and putting honey and and everything in so just something to think about talk to you later